it's Dr. Stephanie. Where are all my leaders out there? Raise your hands if you are a leader. I hope everybody's hand is raised because we are all leaders because the most important part about leadership is self-leadership. Now, it's the end of the year. I love this time because we get to reflect and we get to do some vision casting. We get to figure out what type of vision we want to have for 2024. And we're talking about ourselves as leaders and we're talking about our vision. So I thought it would be amazing to talk about how do you create a vision that not only motivates and inspires you, but motivates and inspires the people that you're leading, right? Because of course we're leaders of ourselves, but if we wanna be leaders of other people, you can't lead if nobody's following you. And the best way to lead effectively is to have a vision that motivates and captivates not just yourself, but the people who are following you. So one of the things that I have learned about being a visionary leader is that when you have a moment, you want to capitalize on that moment. And there are lots of moments. We are having moments historically. There are moments within your family. There are moments within your corporation or your company. But when you capitalize on that moment, you're able to have momentum. The moment leads to momentum. So for example, in my family, we're capitalizing on the moment of having a senior who's getting ready to graduate, who's getting ready to go off to college and start a new phase of life. So that's our moment. And of course, there's lots of things that we're using to build momentum. We've got the momentum of graduation. We've got the momentum of prom. We've got the momentum of, you know, uh, the rite of passage, the botillion. We've got all of this momentum that we are building into this big day where he transitions from no longer being in high school, no longer being under our roof to being out on his own and being in college. So once you have the moment and you have the momentum, then you have a movement. And visionary leaders are able to create a movement. Now, physically, my son will be moving. <laughs> That'll be part of the movement. But that's not all of the movement. The movement is about him being able to discover who he is, being able to, to get that independence that he needs to live on his own. The movement is about building him up, strengthening him, all of the things that we need to do to prepare him and to launch him successfully. So that's the movement. So you have the moment, which leads to momentum, which leads to your movement. Now, if you have all of those elements, then you are the type of visionary leader who is going to be able to keep people motivated and inspired as well as keeping yourself motivated and inspired. So think about what's your moment, what is happening that is important to the people that you're leading. One thing about being a visionary leader, it can't just be a vision that you like and enjoy. It has to be something that is important to the people you're leading. So What's a moment that's important to the people that you're leading? How can you take that moment and capitalize it and build momentum? If that moment is the fact that there's a reorganization at your company, okay, that's the moment. How can you build momentum around that? What is it that people care about in that moment? Um, are there opportunities for growth, opportunities for learning, opportunities for uh, promotion, opportunities for people to experience different skill sets that they hadn't before. Build the momentum around this moment. And then take that moment that has gone into momentum and build a movement. The movement is where you're taking the company or your organization or the people that you manage forward. What's the movement that you're building with your visionary leadership? What do you see being created that no that does not exist today, but you can fully see that it can be created? 
This reorganization gives you an opportunity to create something new that has never been. What is that vision? And that is your movement. So take everybody that you're leading from the moment into momentum and create your movement. And that's how to keep people motivated and inspired by your visionary leadership. All right. Bye-bye for now.